Hey guys, it is Tanessa Nicole here again with a quick little message and um, I just want to talk about the dark place. I mentioned in previous videos that I go out to the women's prison and uh, last time I went out I talked about the dark place and oftentimes we think of the dark place as being um, a sad place, a lonely place, a, a bad place. Where we're the dark place, it doesn't have to be that. A dark place can be a seed that is planted. It's planted in the dark, the ground, the dirt, it's dark. Um, another thing that I thought about is in photography. Uh, I took photography in high school and we had to go in the dark room to develop, develop our pictures. And so it is in that place that we are developed. And so instead of looking at your dark place as a bad thing, look at it as a good thing um, going back to the seed for a second when I was researching the seed um, if you know anything about gardening depending on the seed um, the size of the seed that matters how deep you plant the seed and so the rule of thumb um, is basically you double the size with the depth and so if your seed is one inch then you would place it two inches in the ground and the first thing the seed does is when it cracks open it uh, releases its outer shell and so that's again analogy for yourself when you're in that dark place and you're being cracked open you are shedding that outer layer to get to the true authentic you that you are to be the next thing that happens with the seed is the roots. How many of you know the roots grow down before they grow up? Or before the sprout goes up, the roots grow down. And so again, all that is happening underground. No one sees, no one knows. You don't know what's happening once you plant that seed. You just have to trust, or as we like, as I like to say, have faith that it's working and when that little tiny green seedling first begins to sprout out the very first signs of the green there's dirt all over it's filthy it's dirty and that's how you may look or feel when you first start to sprout up but you're growing something and when you look at a seed like you can look at an apple seed and you have no idea what that tree and what that fruit looks like because it's in seed form and so there are things in your life that's in seed form right now and so the bible tells us do not despise small beginnings and so i want to encourage you not to despise your small beginnings don't despise the place that you're being that you're in right now um because it's working for you it's growing something in you allow it to grow you and um, outside right now, where I live, there's like a window right in front of me. And so our trees out back have little tiny green, green buds on them. And to an untrained eye, the tree still looks just like, the tree looks dead, honestly. But this is my favorite time of year. Um, probably next to fall, I love fall too. But I love this time of year when the trees don't have leaves yet. Um, like I said, an untrained eye doesn't see the buds growing on them. But for me, it makes me think of my own life, that the buds that are growing on the trees, that an untrained eye would have no idea that that tree is about to produce. It's going to produce leaves, depending on the tree, then it's going to produce flowers. And some of those flowers, again, depending on the tree, will produce fruit. And so for a botanist or a trained eye, they can look at the trees and know that from those buds, what they are. And how many of you know that when the flowers start to grow on those trees, they give off a very fragrant aroma depending on the tree. And so again, taking it back to you, what's your aroma like? What, what's, what's the scent that's coming from you? When you're starting to grow, are you negative? Are you complaining and bitter because you're not producing the fruit yet? How crazy would it be if the trees decided, well, because I'm not producing fruit, I'm just not going to grow. I'm just going to sit here and die. I'm going to not produce anything. That's how people are. We have to produce. You have to always be in a state of producing. And even though everyone may not know that you're producing because you may be like I started in the beginning, you may be just planted 
in, some, in an area in your life to where your roots are just starting to grow or your seed is just starting to, to crack open. Don't look at the full tree with the fruit and start to murmur and complain because you're not there. Because like I like to say, hold on, little buddy, your time is coming. And so this is Tanessa Nicole, and I just wanted to encourage you and let you know, hold on, little buddy, your time is coming. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.